For today's video, we're going to be doing something a little different here. These are 150 grain, 30 caliber. Both those are used by Badlands. This is what we're really testing. This one has an experimental deep broaching on it. This one has where none of the broaching breaks through. There's a milled and half bullet. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about there. Just to see if that heavy broaching there will get these bullets to open up a little bit quicker. So we're using RMP brass, same brass, same primer, same powder charge on both. I'll fire the regular bulldozer too into ballistic gelatin, flip the blocks, fire the uh, experimental one into the gelatin, and see if it causes that o tip to open up just a little bit quicker. have that one shedding its tip at three and an eighth inches looks like that's where it really started to open up was just shy of that three inch mark carrying its better portion of its permanent wound cavity from the three and an eighth to just shy of the 13 inch mark you got leading edge of the bullet at 21 and five eighths Caught that because I forgot my high tech fleece bullet traps. That one impacted around one thousand seven hundred and forty five feet per second. Did hit a little low with that one, and we will. Uh, I got another one of those loaded up. I'll shoot two. It doesn't appear to have made a whole lot of difference. The tip rests further in the gel, but it looks like it started opening up at almost that exact same mark. And exited the side of the gel block at 15 and 3 eighths inches. And when you look at those there, the lighting's not the greatest, but. You're 
so similar I don't see where that uh, heavy broaching is making enough of a difference to matter that one did impact a fair bit lower at heavy broached into this one. going on in them gel blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this block and shoot another one of the uh, not broached ones, or not as heavily broached, so they're not visible on the outside of the block. Um, but as you can see, all the moon tracks so far are looking similar enough. I'm not thinking that extra broaching is helping at all. that in about the same spot again. You have both of those wound tracks running almost identical, leading edge of that bullet at 23 inches. So it penetrated slightly further, but it's still face forward. The other one took a small tumble right there. So interesting test to see if that broaching would help that bullet open up a little bit quicker, but it seems to really not do anything. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs>